Good morning, everyone. Anne-Marie Band here for the Benzinga Pro Platform and Moneyball Morning for September the 16th. Now, why is September the 16th important? Well, today, two things. We got a consumer sentiment number and it just got released and we have quadruple expiration. So quadruple expiration means every single instrument that carries um, an an options contract, sorry about not finding the words this morning, um, will expire today. We also have contract rolls from the uh, futures, which make for very, very difficult trading markets in terms of whipsaw that could happen through the day. So let's take a peek at what the formation is. We had ourselves, you know, a lot of folks looked at the weekly and they built this. We can put it up here and they said hey this could be a bear flag now if it's a bear flag and they draw it specifically on the edges we're right there on that zone that says you know we could find some buyers some folks have also talked about an inverted head and shoulders pattern which would engage right around this zone which way will it go i don't know but here's what i do know if i go all the way over to my 30 minute chart and I say, I think there's going to be a bounce because one, I think the flag will go on a little more, or two, I'm banking on this inverted head and shoulders. Here's what you do: you look at the chart, you see it bouncing May I have your off attention? of. A sorry, alert has been hang on. Oh. Hang on. Sorry about that. So here's what we have: looking at this 30 minute, you can see that we had a fade and then a bounce that didn't go all the way up. A big fade that gave us an outside candlestick, and now we're coming all the way back up. So the question is the following. What does this chart actually tell us? Well, it tells us I'm going to find a seller, a group of sellers, that are going to overpower the buyers either at this very line right here, which is my 930 open, I believe. That's that 930 open. Or up here at the last congestion level. I don't know which one. So if I say... I'm going to take a short, I must assume that my stop needs to be at least this wide so that if it does come up to this one, I can still manage the trade. So you look for your size and you know that if it breaches the edge by more than a few pennies, you're sitting in the wrong direction. Notice the volatility expansion of the intraday candlestick formations. All right, if you read the report I wrote this morning on the blog, it said, hey, listen, the reason we've got these intraday volatility expansions and yet the VIX is still sub 30, it's because big players aren't really involved and who really is running the chart are the gamma flow guys. And so the pin for the SPY today is actually at 390. Who knows if we'll get there, but that's what they're saying. Now notice, see, if we took the short here, we measure our size based on, hey, can I manage the move all the way up to there? Maybe I'll add to the position while it's under my stop. And I know that if I don't get what I want, I'm out very quickly. If I do get what I want, what do I expect to see? Well, I have, if I have this downward motion really accelerating, I'm going to lose this edge at 383. Right now, I just have to be patient, okay? But we're moving low and then a bounce, and then a lower low, and then a bounce. It tells me that we still have more downside action. My supposition for the day was that we flush and then get a bounce from underneath with all these beach balls here. Um, hard to say, though. Same sort of thing going on in SPY as in the Qs, but the Qs statistically weaker. Notice the last four candlesticks. We didn't even get to uh, the top of this one. And we're underneath these in the formation, right? Trade in the direction of what you see, not a reversal that you are expecting. All right, that's it for today. Next time I'm on board to leave you a video, I'll be in either the city of Vienna or Skopje, Macedonia. All right, take care, everybody. See you soon.